double up run on turn one into Vellum Scry seems quite good actually. Like emptying the hand into unemptying the hand is I quite like, but playing two of these in the middle doesn't seem that good. Like that's giving up a lot of board. All I'm doing is cycling my deck for this. If I really needed Mechazor, that would be fine, but I'd rather just play one um you know, sort of move up here, play one so that it looks like it's threatening the Malatile, and then maybe use it to trade. Oh, much better. Um, i never heard of the term cheesecake yet. Have you not? Um, yeah, cheesecake is like, I guess maybe it's a slightly old turn, but uh, definitely a thing. I did not make that up. I I was very tempted to high roll for the triple Megazor, but like, what do you do after that? As an aside though, I do really, I love Nightmare Operant. This is a, I, I don't know who designed this card, but it's sweet. Well done them. Like, this is, it's really fun to play with. I like having an expendable two drop that has some cool longer game potential. Um, it's definitely my favorite Skyrock Golem. I, I also like that it gets value, but not really, but it still kind of gets value, especially if you're cycling your deck a lot. I should probably put, um, Sphere of Darkness in here, like cut the three worst cards, whatever they may be, and put in spheres. No turn one plays makes me happy. Do I want the operant at all? So if if Sarlacc gets killed and ends up somewhere where it can take a monotile, then I can play operant and deal test next turn. That's pretty unlikely, but maybe worth a shot. Um, on the other hand, I can just play operate, Operant and Desolator instead and not worry about this, which allows me to replace this looking for Lurking Fear. Um, or more ways to empty my hand before I scry and refuel. Seems good. I could play the Sarlacc here and leave this Monotile up, but my opponent will just attack it. So you could have two Operants out right now. Yeah, but then they'd die. It'd be useless. <laughs> Prismatic Mechas are... Oh my god. Do it. Ghosty, that'd be amazing. Built into Void Talon. Hmm. I don't think I care about that at all. Um, what's the replace here? If I hit a 3-drop, I can play 2 cards. Luring this might be nice. <clears throat> My opponent clearly wants to trade the Void Talon for something. Hopefully it's Sarlacc, but... Um, maybe the... I don't know whether they'll have a say in the matter. I could do that just for tempo. I am emptying my hand for Vellum Scry in the process, so that might actually be worth it. Although, uh, yeah, that's actually okay. No, she's probably playing Gate of the Undervolt if she's playing Void Talon, so I'd rather have that. Uh, I'm going to put this here so that she has to punch it or use a ping on it so she, uh, rather than reaching the operant and just pass. Rip Vellum Scry. Play Quizzism to fish out the Mechazors. That sounds like a sweet deck. Uh. Okay. So my opponent's playing like Burn Abyss, I guess. Which this is super clunky against. So although I'd like to start the Desolator train rolling, I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and empty my hand a little bit more. Oh, that's good, okay. So I can play this, buff some stuff, and then hopefully play two cards in the same turn plus Malice. That's that's not fine at all, that's very sad. <clears throat> right, so we're going to get Variaxed or Revenanted next turn. What's the best way to beat that? I can make a 4-8, um, but the Revenant doesn't kill. I'm probably just playing both of these cards and passing the turn, though. 
And then I guess punish the Rev. That seems better to run out than as a Horn Shaman. She can go face with this Rev, but it's not too big of a concern. Because I'm on lots of health and I can pit, I can kill it. Six face damage is three times three is three quarters of your life, basically. Yeah, I think that might be what's going on. I mean, maybe she's just playing the 6-1 to trade. Hey, Cinefay86, thanks for joining. Oh, someone's spectating me. What are we playing here? Ladder. Yeah, this is just ladder right now. Um, but I do intend on doing some frost firing at some point. More Void Talons and Law Weaver. Why? My opponent is doing something very interesting, but I have no idea what. <laughs> but I do quite like the idea of making a bunch of beef. So how about we do that? Um, do I need two desolators in my hand? Not really. Sick. Uh, what's the best way to position this? Like this, probably? Um... I'm going to punch this pointlessly. Probably just run away. Nice. It's good that you can hover to see what's being built, finally. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I also really like that you can see what's in eggs nowadays. Super duper useful. <clears throat> Mind layeth. Oh, crap. Oh, no. My desolator. Damn, and I replaced the other one as well. That's so bad. I totally forgot about Mind Lathe. Maybe we'll draw it. Oh, that really sucks. That is not what I want my opponent to have. And the punish. Yeah. I mean, at least she's over there and I'm over here. Um, didn't draw a spell, I think. Reaper of the Nine Moons seems good. Lurking Fear obviously seems good. Let's replace this. Nice. Do I just draw cards instead? Ah! Please ignore my steam overlay. Um, I'll see if I can turn that off in a sec. So this can kill the 2-5, unless it gets removed. That seems fine. Oh man, that mine lathe sucks. I'm gonna lose to my own desolator. Before I draw the next one. Um, and please ask them to fix the BBS buttons. There is a trick to these. If it's animated, it's active. And that helps me that helped me understand them a lot. Man, there's loads of ways I could have played around that as well. I could have just not buffed the health on this and then the mind lathe, mind lathe doesn't work. Um, so I forgot about that. So she can steal this next turn, so I need to find a way to take the last... No, I need to find a way to take both charges off my lathe. Can't attack her with it yet. Interesting. Hmm. That's alright, I can get rid of this Law Weaver, I guess. Let's draw cards first. I like drawing cards. Come on, Dezo! None of those things are Desolator. 
This is alright though. Ooh, this could be exciting. Oh no, no way it dies to the ability, right? So she never gets to steal it? I think it, it dies first. Awesome. Adjudicator. What on earth is she playing? Is she just playing Doom and using Void Talon as removal? Is that how this works? Ritual banishing, okay. So that's the Swords' doom. I, be I believe you. Right, let's hop one of these spawns near her so I can get rid of this stupid mind lathe. I can kill this with a punish now, I guess. Right, so this doesn't do a lot. Um. Yes, okay. I think we Desolator and Blood Echoes. I guess I don't really need to do that yet. Because um, I can just sit there and make 4 fours with it. Also, you weren't kidding about this being a buff, actually. Wow. Because now, I can use it to get things closer and closer to my opponent. The question is, do I replay it this turn to save mana? I don't think she can steal it if she can't reach it with Mind Lathe. And she can't kill it anyway. So let's do that. I guess it might get dispelled? Whereupon our blood echoes and it comes back. Sweet. You know, you can creep up on people. Yeah, it's, I, I like effects like that. It's quite powerful. She's just doing the Dezo ping Dezo thing. Yeah. Oh, DFS Dezo, okay. <laughs> I mean... You know what? Darkfire Sacrifice turning into Void Pulse is quite reasonable in the situation my opponent is in. You have to hover before the animation starts. You actually don't, I think. It animates slightly. Maybe I'm wrong. Um... Okay. Very tempted by Reaper Blood Echoes here. Let's see if I can get some more value in it. Ooh. Drawing cards. So Reaper Blood Echoes is funnier, although my opponent has like no good minions in their deck anyway. So let's draw cards. Oh, baby. Uh, this is terrible against Mind Lathe. So maybe I shouldn't do that. I think I'm just going to make more 4 -fours. I like 4 -fours. Might play this anyway, because it's a big flyer. Seems like a good idea. Okay, this is working. Um, what can she do to get out of this? Like... 
Grasp of Agony shenanigans, I suppose. Hmm. It's really hard playing games of Duelist not knowing exactly what your opponent's doing. Like, we suspect Doom, right? Doom is Doom is likely, but I don't really know. Like the Void Talon proper throws me off. Law Weaver as well, like Law Weaver in Doom. I mean I guess maybe it's just card advantage. But it seems awful slow. Most Doom decks that I've seen just run tons of healing. Because obviously you don't need damage to kill your opponent. <clears throat> Infest. Oh, there's your win con. So, what is it? Choose an enemy minion. When it, where's it gone? When it dies, give this effect to all nearby enemy minions and deal, the, deal two damage to the enemy general. So, oh, it actually shows on the thing as well. So you ping this. Does that stack twice? Does that have double infest? It does have double infest. Holy crap. Oh, wow, that's powerful. But oh, she's lowering it. Okay. And then she dies. Cool. <laughs> Whew. 